Namaste. Hello. How are you? Uh, Sarah Rose knows here. Sarah Rose Riley. Um, let's see. Let me. This is probably going to be a recording. Sometimes I have people come to class. I'm hoping to use this video. We'll see. As I keep doing this every week. Um, for my Anya Sara, I'm inspired right now, but to test out the 300 um, hour level. So, and it's, I've had these hours for a really long time now. And it's just a matter of finding a video where I can say at the end of this beautiful thing, that's good enough and then send it off. So, but what we're going to do today is we'll just start, um, I'm gonna start in a different, usually start in a seat. We start in our seat, right? We're, we're going to do that too, but you might want two blocks or a bolster because after our seat and after we center, we'll do our um, heart bench and our heart bench might look like this, right? You have two blocks and you have one right here for your spine and this one's behind the head, right? It's the oxyphobic at the back of the head, right? So you might have that. You could use, if you have like a bolster at home, you could use a, um, your bolster just like so. If you have like a bony, lower bony butt bone, you can use your blanket right there over it. To kind of see that. So whatever's going to help you to open up that way. So you could get that ready. You could get the two blocks or the bolster with or without the added block underneath. I just like the slight up ele elevation because it helps to open up the pectoral wall and the of the body. So I'm going to give you time to kind of navigate that stuff for a moment. I see all that glare. This, that's the noon glare. Right, let me see if I can kind of one video that I did. It looks can barely even see, barely even see me with one more video. Yeah. I do have another light right here that might sh shoot, that should come back. I don't know, we'll do the best we can, right? That's, that's what it's all about. Okay, so hopefully you have your tools, you have your two blocks, your bolster. I don't think you'll need a strap, but it's always good to have one near you. Right. So if you need to sit on a block or a blanket to allow the, the sit bones to go a little slightly more forward, you're going to go ahead and do that. Right. You may see me move this camera a little just so you can see me in a better in a better angle when I do a demo. All right. All right. So let's find that comfortable seat. Let's take a moment here to, to arrive in your seat to say yes. Say yes to what is, whatever is going on. If it's like a butterfly of nerves in your solar plexus, and take a deep breath in and just allow that inner brilliance and brightness of you to soften that outer exterior of self so you can relax a little more. So good. <laughs> and then from the extremities of the bodies, the fingers, the toes, the knees, the shoulders. Come into the self and hug the self even more. Hold that, hold that container of love for you for this time on your mat to celebrate your inner brilliance. And we'll take our hands, we'll manually rotate the inner thighs in, back and apart. And broaden your seat. You can do that with the opposite hands. So you draw the inner thighs in, back and apart. And then from this, this pelvic floor, which is has this beautiful foundation of right sit bone, left sit bone, and even the tailbone down, you lift up a little taller. You soften everything back into the earth once more. You can either close your eyes or you can gaze at me at the screen. So I talk a little bit more. This is that June right now. It's my favorite, it's my favorite months. It's not my birthday month, but it's one of my favorite months. Um, I love Pride Month. It's Pride Month allows us to celebrate our diversity in all of the colors of the rainbow, to celebrate how we have been evolving and how we continue to evolve. And there's this idea that we can become kinder even, that we can even embrace each other more. There's more acceptance I hope, pray, and I, I do hear the stories on the opposite end too, but I'm here to celebrate the love and the acceptance of our differences because 
we wouldn't all be here. <laughs> um, it would just be one note. It would be one note playing the same one note, and that would be the only thing playing when we play a song. And that that doesn't that doesn't uh that's not very exciting. But this is right. This is that there was the one, and the one wanted to know itself. It wanted to know itself, so it became the many, right? It became all of us, which is diversity, which is short, tall, all of those things, right? And different colors, different different hairstyles, different preferences, different likes and dislikes. It's all of those things, and I love that. I love different languages, different food, different food likes and dislikes, all of that, okay. Uh, we're also working with our solar plexus today. So you're going to hear me talk about that. And if you're not sure where that is, it's technically where your um, shoulders and your hip bones are. But you'll hear me kind of talk about the belly area a lot, the Manapura um, chakra area. Manapura means lustrous gem and it shines bright like yellow. So, so thinking of that shining bright. All right. So good. So let's... <laughs> So let's let's go in one more time before you come into. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just come right into your heart bench. I'm right into your heart bench, and I'll say a few more nice words and get you a little bit more centered. So you have hopefully you have all your tools set up already. If not, make it so. The option with the legs, it could be soles of the feet together, the knees out. It could be the feet on the floor. It could be legs extended. Okay, I do, I do. The one thing I do like to recommend is is to recommend the palms up that'll open up your shoulders a little more for pectoral wall. Okay. So as you're getting into that beautiful heart bench of your variation, that doesn't work for you. You can recline on your back or just stay in a comfortable seat. I apologize if you heard that ping. I don't know how to turn that off. Um, if you know how to turn that off, please tell me. It happens a lot. All right. So this is the poem for your solar plexus area. Wherever you are on your breath cycle, we'll take a collective deep breath in and a deep breath out. You're invited to have the eyes open or closed. Having the eyes closed does not feel just right. You can always have them open. We'll do one more deep breath in. And out. The poem is called Lemon. So powerful and tightly kept inside. The tough, smooth rind. Your juice drips down the side as the knife cuts you open. You look like two halves in the sun, listening in the morning light. Lemon, so powerful and tightly kept inside the tough, smooth rind. Your juice drips down the side as the knife cuts open. You look like two halves of the sun, glistening in the morning light. Lemon, so powerful and tightly kept inside the tough, smooth rind. Your juice drips down the side as the knife cuts open. You look like two halves of the sun, glistening in the morning light. Now, as you are in your heart bench, and if it doesn't feel good to stay here, you can come upright seated. We're gonna, I'm gonna teach you Durga Pranayama, and that can be with eyes open or closed. You don't have to see me if you what to just receive the instruction. There will be no demo for the breath. It's just all instructional. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, let all the breath out. Be all the way down to the bottom of the belly. And then all the breath out. Breathe all the way down to the bottom of the belly to about mid lungs, to your rib cage, all the breath out. Breathe down to the bottom of the belly to the rib cage, all the way up to the collarbones. 
really fill up with breath and very slowly with a soft hug to the self, all the breath out. And if your nasal passages are open, you can do that all through the through the nasal passages. If not, it could be in through the mouth and out of the mouth. And we'll begin again. So this time breathing even more fully all the way down to the bottom of the belly, to the mid lungs, all the way up to the collarbones. And see if you can take a, a tiny sip more breath in, maybe even a little bit more breath. And then let all the breath out. Good, and begin again. I'm gonna let you take a few rounds on your own with this more full rounded breath, this bigger breath. Would you allow the breath to bounce from your hip points to your shoulder blades, to the back of the body, the front of the body, both the left and the right hemisphere of the body. And as you're working this breath on your own, this fuller breath, I'm gonna to talk to you about Kambaka breath. And what we'll do is I'll give you the opportunity to restrict the breath in or hold the breath out. Now, if that is not comfortable for you or if it feels like anxiety, anxiety is bubbling up, just choose not to do that, right? So there's lots of places to get off. I call it, call it the yoga bus, right? You could stay at the first breath you were doing. You could stay with this breath that you're doing. You can add the pause, the restrictions of the breath, the kumbhaka or not. So, so here we go. So wherever you are in this breath cycle, just let all the breath out. And when you're ready, you're gonna breathe in from belly to rib cage, all the way up to the collarbones, and then hold the breath, hold the breath in for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly exhale the breath out. So all the breath is out. I'm gonna hold the exhale out for five, four, three, two, one. And then begin again. Breathe in from belly to rib cage to collarbones. All the breath in. Take another tiny sip of breath in. See if you can take an even more breath. Hold the breath in for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one one and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you find your pattern. So you can either hold the breath in or out. You can add that, that two minute extra exhale and just a few more rounds on your own, hitting off the yoga bus wherever you need to get off. So you can keep the restrictions in, you can take them out, you can go five, 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 or add two extra counts to the exhale, whatever you need right now. Perhaps one more round as you finish up. And on your exhale, and then move into your ujjayi breath, that audible inhale through your nostril, past your throat, inflating the lungs, out of the lungs, past the throat, and out of the nostrils, creating that beautiful oceanic sound of breath that carries you through your practice, that nurtures you, that feeds you. Yeah, it fuels you. And if you are upright, you can stay upright. If you're in your heart bench, either roll to a fetal position. It might, if you're on those like kind of pointy squares of the blocks, it might feel better to come all the way up. Whatever way you want to do that, I'm going to get some of those bigger tools out of the way. You might want a block. Yeah, you might want a block for later or two. Use two. Okay. <laughs> I know. Now we get to move. Right? And that breath, that breath that you just did is, it's a monstrous breath. It's big, it's big and it's bright. And there's really no right or wrong with it. If you felt like you were behind or ahead, it's just a recommendation. That's why I give you some time to do it on your own too. All right. So if you were seated the whole time, you just want to bring one, the opposite leg in front, the one that'll feel a little different. Fantastic. 
<laughs> inhale, lift up, reach up. And then on your exhale, twist. I'm going to twist towards the right. My hands can come down by the side. Inhale to center. Root down, reach high. Exhale, twist, twist. So see if you can start to really brighten from that inner body to that outer body as you do these movements. As you were just doing that in your Durga Pranayama, that really amazing, powerful breath. Brightening your and polishing the whole entire solar plexus. You can imagine that, that lustrous gem of Manapura getting brighter and brighter, just like the sun. So just like that grapefruit analogy, like that glistening of the, the grapefruit, the yellowness, and the sweetness. And then it's also a little tart, but that is life, right? <laughs> Let's do one more. Your inhale might be right here, and your exhale might be your twist. There you go. And then inhale the center and exhale, you'll fold, you'll fold forward. You can either come right to your tabletop right here or swing the legs to the side. The wrists and shoulders line up. Bring the knees right underneath the hips. You can either have the toes tucked under or bring the shoelace side of your foot to your mat. And just take an inhale here and arrive. And arrive in this new shape. As you spread your fingers right wide, press down to your index finger, or your thumb on your pinky finger, or the heel of the, the outer heel of the hand. You now lift up through the crown of the head, the tailbone. On your exhale, round through the spine. And you can lift and lengthen. And your exhale down. So even as you're moving through this dog and cat tilt with your breath. Feel that electricity. Take a moment to feel that electricity of the right arm hugging towards the left arm and the left towards right. And the same for the legs. Even though the, the knees themselves are about two fists distance apart or so or more, more or less, right? Right underneath your hips. There's space between the legs. If there's a loving hug to the, the center place of yourself, the right leg hugs to the left and the left towards the right. Seven. And then find a neutral spine, either rounding or lifting. And I ask you to do something here where you bring your knees back in space. So they go back to the back of your mat about two inches or so back. A lot of times when I say that, people go forward and they don't know why that is. Yeah. So you're bringing your knees back in space, almost like you're in a knee down plank. There you Yeah. So you should feel your core. Yeah. Feel your core turn on. So inhale, get really tall from your from your armpit to your waistline. Yeah, and then exhale, lengthen your tailbone a little more to so feel your core strength. Take an inhale here and gaze forward so the neck is in line with the spine. And then on your next exhale, whenever that is, we're gonna lower all the way down to the floor. Good. So this is like a, a warm-up, if you will. I think I'm gonna I'm actually gonna move and as promised, I'm gonna move this a little bit so you can see me just a little better. I think I just have to go like that. All right, so yeah, rest your forehead for a moment here. Go ahead and rest for a moment now that you're on the floor. But as you rest here, and if you need to look, you can look and see what's going on. But as you're resting, <clears throat> we're gonna find the rhomboids that are at the middle part of your upper back, right? They come together and down the back. And they hug in, they hug into them midline of the body to the, the center point of the body. And then inhale. And inhale and just lift the palms. And then exhale, draw your navel towards your spine, lengthen the tail on just to that. And then inhale, lift the heart. And press the hands down. And even though your, your elbows aren't quite touching your sides, they might be lightly grazing your sides, but not really touching, there's still that hug to, to the center of your most precious self. But yeah, so if you're, you feel like you're, you're doing a chicken dance with your elbows out, you want your elbows to hug in, arms hug in. Okay, keep that. And then start to, as you curl up, as you curl up and you lift the hand to do your air, <laughs> cobra, your air cobra, lift the hands, but press down through the tops of the, the feet, you know, keep the legs engaged. 
Now add the hands and curl up. So it could be a little cobra, it could be a big cobra. The right shoulder goes right, the left shoulder goes left. As you expand it out and everything hugs in too. Right into the pelvis. The legs get shorter into the pelvis, the torso gets shorter, and the neck gets shorter. And from all of that hugging into the center place, you then extend out from the core, from the, from the low belly, from the pelvis. You get taller, you get bigger. You shine a little brighter. And press back down, dog, or a quick child's pose. You can always do a child pose in between. I just won't say it every time. Down dog, Aramuka. Hands at the top of your mat, knee to the back of your mat. Hands about shoulder width distance or as wide as your sticky mat. Feet about hip width distance apart. And even here, right? You're so lovingly just <laughs> hugging it all in, right? You're just arriving here, hugging it all in, hugging the arms into the heart, even the legs. I'm so funny, even the legs into the heart. And from this place of, of deep knowing, right, that you are so amazing just as you are. You're meant to shine bright. You're not supposed to hide. You extend out. You extend out from the heart, and the arms get longer. The legs get longer. There's like a release in the neck, perhaps, as the head gets heavier and the neck gets longer. Tip to the feet up to the hands and pull forward at the top of the back. Uh, let's take a moment here to arrive in your, your forward fold. And you can shake it out a little bit. And we for sure will start moving. And it's going to feel so good. Good. And just press down through those feet, just like you have in the hands, the four corners, the big toe mound, the inner heel, the pinky toe mound, the outer heel. Ask the energy to lift and rise up the legs, and you just you slowly come up and reach the arms up. Press the hands before the heart center. So, guys, I'm going to take a moment here to remind yourself of your heart's intention or even intentions, right? To, to be you, to shine bright. I'll sing the Anyasara on vocation and invocation, and you can you can sing it with me or just receive the sound. We'll, we'll start with three ohms. So even if you just want to do the three ohms and then receive. So here we go. Take a deep breath in. Oh. 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 Namah Shivaya. Urave. Satchitananda. Mortaye Nish Prapanchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tejase. All right, so we step to the top of your mat. If you aren't already there, bring your arms by the side. Tadasana. Breathe deeply. And soften the tough exterior and know that you're that in your heart you are love. Back this up a little bit and that you deserve love. Just as you are, just as you are. You don't have to do anything else. But do this. <laughs> that was a joke. Firm and tone your legs. <laughs> Draw the inner thighs in back and apart. Lengthen your tailbone just enough so you feel your belly engage. You got it. <laughs> that was funny. I had to laugh at myself. And from your pelvis, extend down and out and up to the sky. And get bigger, get taller. On your next inhale, reach up. We're down through the stumps of your legs. Exhale, fold forward into the, the life that you're living. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, fold. This life that you're living that no one else could do. It's just a life that you could do. We go right into down dog just to start. Press the hip, the hips back, the chest towards the top of the thighs. Create that big and burning V. Just a few breaths here as you find your your rhythm of your ujjayi breath. And just notice there might be times when I say inhale when you're exhaling, and eventually we'll all get on the same page in our down dog. So no worries. Good. And then 
On your next inhale, we'll look forward. Good. Bend the knees if you need to. And a tiptoe forward. Top of mat on your exhale. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Good. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, top of a push-up, high plank. This time, you know, we're just adding on a layer at a time. We'll lower my knees, but you can keep those knees lifted. Exhale to low plank or to your mat. Inhale, cobra pose as you open up the heart. Exhale, down dog. Lift the seat up and back. And just a few breaths here in your down dog. And continue, continue to, to hug in, hug into the heart and sweet remembrance of how amazing you are, right? All of those hurdles, all those difficult situations where you're like, I just want to be myself, right? Anytime that that happened and look how more brilliantly you can shine now because you own it now. You had to walk through those, those doors. You had to push them open, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward. Tip to the feet forward. And so many people before us, right, have done the same to help us out. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. That's part of the grace. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, top of a push up, high plank. Here it comes. This is 11. Exhale, low plank. She loves. She loves yoga, so does my dog, Charlie. Curl it up, Bhujangasana. <laughs> Exhale, Adha Mukha. Or Mukha, I meant to say, sorry. And down dog, so just a few breaths here. I don't know if I should try to get her gently out of the room. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're so funny. You're funny, you know. All right, in your down dog, inhale, right leg comes about hip height or so. Pull the right knee in towards the nose. Really hike the hip, the hip up. Step the right foot towards your right thumb. Swivel the back foot flat, and you can even measure it out and slide the left foot back to your right heels in line, pretty much with the main arch of the back with the left foot. When the left ear drops in a two, warrior two. And I'm just going to turn around. You can stay where you are, but I just want to look at the camera so I can see you through time and space. I don't know if this is a video, it's still a video, just so you know, I'm not really, it's not real time. <laughs> All right, really stretch those arms out. Dig that into the front leg. And as we get more expressive and more open in, in these poses, we have to hug in more. We have to remember that those shins still need to hug in towards one another. Mm -hmm. Inhale, put the front palm, peaceful warrior, right arm goes up, that side body super long and tall and strong. Good. And bring the right, bring the right forearm down to the front thigh for Parsva Kanasana. And take a moment here to hug, to um, sorry, look, to look into your own heart and bring your sit bones back a little bit behind you. So it's like, it's almost like, yeah, it's almost like we're coming out of the pose because you are. Yeah. So yeah, and keep that broadening of the, of the sit bones as those inner thighs makes the inner thighs go in, back and apart. And then we're just going to add the length of the tailbone. This is this an ever, ever narrowing, you know, hugging in and then you lift up the top arm, the top arm lifts that is. Yeah. You continue, yeah, you continue to open up and say yes to what is. Hug the shins in, firm and tone your legs. Draw the inner thighs in, back and apart. Lengthen the tailbone just enough. And then from your pelvis, shine out, get brighter. And then the head goes back more, the top arm goes straighter. Perhaps the right hand comes down to the floor or a block. Good, good. And then inhale, come all the way up. And then straighten your right leg. Nice. Dial your toes to face towards the long edge of the mat. This Sarda, Adho Inhale, lift up through the heart. 
And then exhale, fold forward, bring the hands down to your mat. And you can use your yoga block if you need to and fold. All right, so once again, it's that idea that as you get like more expressive, where one foot's at the front and one foot's at the back of the mat and you get bigger and you take up more space, just remember to hug in more, to hug into your truth, to remind yourself of your greatness that you are innately good. You are innately good. And my cat that came in, she's a good example. She's a black cat, but she has a lot of light in her. So you would say that she's like a dark cat. And they say like that they're bad. She has little white, little white furs. So even within that, even within all of her blackness, there's still light. If there's always, even in those awkward moments that are not fun, there is lightness. All right, so you're gonna bring your front foot, wherever you think that front foot is at the top of your mat, down dog. And I'm just saying that because <laughs> I think sometimes that living is as a marginalized as a in that group of people, it's it's hard. It's hard to be yourself and to shine bright. When you do that, you give others the permission to do the same. So good. Inhale to top of a push-up high plank, exhale to low. Inhale up dog. But it takes strength. Exhale down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. So good. Enjoy a few more breaths in your down dog. Continuing to warm up in this down dog. So this is an active pose. It is, it's an active rest. On your next inhale, whenever that is, the left leg lifts about hip height or so. Pull the knee in towards the nose. Step your left foot to your left thumb. So the back foot flat and take the time to set up. Perhaps the left heel is in line with the right foot. So to do that, I do have to bring my right foot back a little bit. And if you have a dotted line on your mat, fantastic. That's going to help you to do the mat. And inhale, come up your drasana two. Take up some space here to reach arm. Arms in opposite directions. Big bend into your front leg. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and arrive. Perhaps your soft gaze is at your front fingertips. Peaceful warrior, flip the front palm, reach up and back. I'm just giving you some time to be and breathe right now. Side body long. Continue to hug the shins in as if you have like a like a Pilates ball between the legs, right? You hug in just enough all the way up. Like you have uh, energy stockings on your legs. Right? Up into the pelvis. Right? This pelvis becomes like this surging energy as, as the torso shortens into the pelvis. The arms, the head, everything goes right into this pelvis and from the pelvis you extend out. You right and you get bigger. Yeah. Extended side angle. Left form will come to the front thigh. Maybe the cars will kanasana. You can bow into your own heart for a moment. As you bow into your own heart, you broaden your seat and bring the sit bones back. You go ahead and take a deep breath in and just arrive here in this kind of awkward position. Sometimes life is awkward. Some awkward transitions that happen sometimes and we just honor those and we know that once we get through them, we are better for having gone through them. So keep that, keep that broadening, but lengthen the tailbone like an ever narrowing, right? From the waistline down and continue to hug your Pilates ball between the legs and the shins. Draw the inner thighs in, back and apart and lengthen the tailbone, there you go. And then from the pelvis, reach the top arm up and, and bright and get big, get really long and tall. As you continue, yeah, as you continue to keep those inner thighs in, back and apart, 
And if you feel like you brought your pelvis too far forward and there's like a jamming in your low back, you might just have to kind of come to that awkward stance sometimes and build it and rebuild it and start again. Good. And a few more breaths here just to explore wherever you are today in this super expressive, expansive pose. And when we get, when we add on more layers of these shapes and they become a little bit more dynamic, we have to remember that we do have to you know, take a deep breath and, and say yes and, and then hug into the self to use the muscles in the body, the integrity of the, the physical strength. And then when we find that integrity of the physical strength, it, it supports that confidence of the, the metaphysical strength of the spiritual strength of the self-esteem and the confidence. It mirrors it. Okay, we're gonna look, we're actually, yeah, we'll come on up, come on up. Hands to your hip, straighten the front leg. Nice. We're gonna work on a goddess pose. You can go a little shorter with your legs. For your goddess, the toes will go out if you need to, or you can go wider, bend into the knees. Looking for that cat again. She, you know, maybe you'll see her little white whiskers amongst her blackness. Right? I love them. We're just talking about you. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And draw your your sit bones down. Track your knees more towards the second toe in from your big toe to find that inner thigh opener. So it's the hip opener. Good, just a few more breaths here. You might be doing some big ujjayi breath here. Smile, smiling will help. Good, and then inhale. I know we probably clap that Pilates, that imaginary Pilates bubble rip with that one. All right, straighten the legs. Good, good. Good hands to your waist. Oh, all right. Right foot, the toes will point out towards that front edge of your mat. The back foot is pretty much kind of towards the, the longer edge. Mm -hmm. So the pinky toe edge of your left foot is kind of parallel with your mat back there. Stretch the arms. Oh, and you might want to block. You might not need a block for trikonasana or mm -hmm. trikonasana triangle pose. The hand can come down, it can come down to a block. That arm goes high. And I don't know if you can see this in the video because of the glare. It's super not perfect. But the block will come behind. It'll come behind the leg if you can, if possible, or you can kind of hover the hand if you can't quite reach. You just don't want to go too far forward with the right arm in front of you. As best as you can, it's bone above bone in the blueprint of the body, unless it's like down dog, right? And you can't, right? Because the hands are forward and you're in a, you're basically in a inverted V in that shape. Like, like our vowel sounds in English. All right, a few more breaths here. So we're gently hugging the Pilates bubble between the calf muscles and the shins. And you have those energy stockings all the way up into the seat of the pelvis from the pelvis back down into the earth. And then all the way back up again and out through the top arm. So good. And the inhale, come all the way up. And then we switch sides. Right toes is straight ahead. Left toes go out. Use the block or no. In a moment, and just take a moment here. Stay here for a moment with the hands out by the side. Yeah, the shoulders. Hands out from the shoulders. Take a deep breath in and get really tall once again. From your armpit to your waistline. Fill up with breath. Then on your exhale, descend and arrive in Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Yeah. Stay bright and beautiful in the solar plexus this whole time. Allow the solar plexus to shine. Did you enjoy that full breath in and full breath out? So soften and remember that you are perfection just as you are. And like you have energy stockings on your legs, okay, all the way up into the pelvis. Expand your seat laterally. So we're gonna draw those inner thighs in first. And then expand your seat. You then lengthen from your waistline down and from your pelvis, shine out, shine out and get bigger. And then inhale and come all the way up and bring that block to the side. 
I'm gonna toe heel the feet in. We're gonna shake it out a little bit. Fantastic. All right. I did type it up in one day. Then make sure I get all my dotted all my eyes and cross on my teeth. Rikshas and a tree pose. And tree pose is so beautiful about tree is that one part of your body will be touching into the side of it. So you get this other beautiful relationship of the hugging in to the midline of the body. Do you balance on your left foot? You have the four corners of your beautiful foot. The main arch lifts up. The right foot comes up and it could be the inner thigh or below the knee or for kickstand. The foot into the leg, the leg back into the foot. It's this relationship of communication to self. And then we get to explore that. So tree pose, left foot, it's okay if you went right. And then opposite foot, you just want above or below the knee because the knee is supposed to bend this way, not right to left. So you just wanna, don't want to put pressure on the knee joint itself. So above or below the knee, I'm going to come down to like a kickstand variation. Hands to heart center or branch the, the arms up like a tree as you reach up. I'm going to move, but you can stay in it. Take time here in your tree to notice the quality of your breath at your solar plexus, your place of power. Firm in tone, the standing leg. So from your foot all the way up to your pelvis. Draw the inner thighs back and lengthen the tailbone for stability and strength. From the pelvis, extend down into the earth and then back up again, all the way up to the top of the head. See if you can get even bigger. You know, the tree, the limbs of the, the roots, right, go down into the earth and they extend the energy up. And then you press back down, and all the way back up and out again, get bigger, get brighter. Hands come to heart center. Release the foot down the other side. We're gonna, we'll set it up the same way. We'll take the time to find the four corners of the opposite foot, the big toe on the inner heel, the pinky toe on the outer heel, the main arch lifts up, like energy stockings on the standing leg. The opposite leg comes above the knee or below the knee, right, depending on your mobility and capability with balance for kickstand or just standing on both feet, right, if, if, if all of those things don't work. Hands to heart center. We'll take a moment to breathe in, to soften, to arrive here on this first time on the second side. Energy stockings up the legs, so you're super strong. Even here, the inner thighs go in, back, and apart just enough as your tailbone lengthens, and that creates your, your Uddiyana Bandha, your core lock. Everything connecting into the seat of the pelvis here, into this beautiful bowl of the pelvis and from the pelvis you press down and back out to the earth and then up through the top of the head you get bigger you get brighter the hands might go up like limbs of a tree Hands to heart center, release the foot down. And take a moment to shake it out. Hold on. We know that uh, trees do blow in the wind as it happens. Right? <laughs> and shake it out nice. All right. We're gonna bring, bring your feet about as wide as your mat or so, toes out. Malasana yoga squat, your yoga squat might be here. You might reach for your block or blocks again to help you, or it could be your sit bones down. Yeah, put your hands to the heart, elbows to the inner knees. And just a few more breaths here, similar to, kind of similar to goddess, right? Do that hip opener. Let's see if you can lift your heart a little more. Yeah, lift the heart a little more, allow your solar plexus to shine more. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to bring your hands down. Anyway, you get there, it doesn't have to be super <laughs> graceful. We're going to lower down. I'm going to do a, just, one, just a couple of Navasana boat poses to get into that strength of the powerhouse of the body, to brighten 
to brighten the uh, Manapura chakra, your core. So here we go. Feet can be down the whole time, but I'll give you variations. You can get off the yoga bus wherever you need to. Lean the torso back a little bit to you feel your core engagement. And imagine your core muscles as being kind of like a, like a seatbelt where you latch on, but then also the rib cage to the pelvis, right? So everything's kind of hugging in. So there's still this in and up motion. It's not just down and out, it's in and up too, okay? It's really important. So everything hugging in and up and across. <laughs> Good. You can stay right here the whole time. You could either bring your hands behind your thighs and bring your calf muscles parallel to the earth, to the mat. Reach the arms forward. This will be where you get off the bus or maybe even straighten the legs and just hold, hold, holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Take a rest. Full breath in. Maybe you stick out your tongue to your chin and you let it go. Lion's breath. All right. And then bring it up again, anywhere you need to be. It could be legs extended, arms out, or hands even behind your back is another variation. And hold, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down for a moment, full breath in. Let off some steam, tongue out to the chin. I know. <laughs> bring it up. I can't help but laugh when I do lion's breath. It's the best. <laughs> it's one way to shine bright. Last one, finding all that effort out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oof. Oh my goodness. Feet come down, hands behind you. Windshield wiper the legs a few times. <laughs> Oh, hang on. All right, it's been awesome. Okay, so let me see here. Oh, I don't know where, that's terrible. I don't know where the time goes, but that, that's what happens. We're still on this, I'm with you. All right, the time check. I was just trying to see you closer, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, um, I'm going to have you, while we're here, I'm going to have you come close to the screen because I want to show you something. So you're going to come on over. It's a good time to take a little, it's like our yoga commercial. Come on over. <laughs> All right, you might need a block, you might not. All right, I'm going to lower, I'm going to lower my back, but you, you still keep watching and you're totally going to have time, plenty of time to do this pose. Satubanda Sarvasana, okay? Bridge pose, but watch first. So many ways to like kind of set this pose up, but this is one of the ways that I notice really clicks for um, especially like people that that are beginners. For, me, for, for when I teach beginners classes, kind of how we do it. We take our time with it, so it's no worries. Right? The feet are about hip width distance apart, so there's space between the feet and the knees sweat as well. You're going to inhale you, and watch <laughs> the arms come up just to kind of set it up and then bend the elbows down. Inhale, get really tall from your waistline to your armpit. And then on your exhale, you, I'll ask you to wiggle, wiggle your shoulder blades together, but just watch for a moment. So as you do that, the heart automatically, automatically lifts. And as long as you're keeping your chin out of your chest and you keep your throat soft as if you have like a peach between your chin and your chest and you don't want to bruise the peach or make the juices flow all over you, that you're fine, right? So the, the back of the head presses down for sure. The shoulders press down, the feet press down. So you'll continue. You don't want to give yourself a headache. And this is why it's always just enough. It's always just enough that we hug in. It's always just enough that we extend out. It's always just enough. And even here, the same thing. As you press into the back of the head, just know the shoulders and the feet are still here too, right? The heart is lifting. There's a curve, a natural curve in your neck. So if I could see you at home, I would I would come to the side of you and view you from the side. And I would get kind of close and look, look at the side of the room if we were all in a room together. And I would look at that cute little curve in your neck, okay? And make sure it was there. All right, so once you have your shoulders down, it automatically, it just, it puts that body into alignment where 
and makes it a better curve. And that's what we want. We want all of these, you know, even my cat wants really nice curves um, in the neck. She's like, that's so cool because I know, I know where you're going because you've done this before. And after you got that, you get to go up and the hands can come down to your side or you can mesh the hands underneath you. Right? If meshing your hands underneath you makes the shoulders pop off the floor, you just want to keep the arms down by the side. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you that because it doesn't feel good. So if you feel like you've lost connection of your shoulders when you get your chance to do this, that's what you'll do. So, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna lower down. I'm gonna talk you through it, but before you, before you leave me, before you go back, I just want you to remember three things. Okay, so just want you to remember a few things. You're gonna make sure that you have a curve in your neck the whole time, that your feet and your ankles are pretty much in alignment, and that your side body's long. Okay, so curve in your neck, side body long, and then your feet might be a little farther forward, but you don't want your feet, your heels touching your booty. Okay, so I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna show you that, that one real quick. So you might hear sometimes, and it's okay for some bodies, but you might hear people say, bring your heels in so you can tickle your the heels of your feet or your ankles. But watch what happens when I do that, right? It's short and I'm not as high up and my knees are way out there and my feet are way in here, right? Bone above bone. You may not, you might, if you have a long torso and forward arms like I do, not going to be able to touch the heels of my feet. I had to learn that by doing it, right? And seeing different bodies over, over years, seeing different bodies and being like, oh, well that doesn't, that cue doesn't work, right? So you want your knees above your ankles or your feet slightly forward, which is okay, but you can always walk them back. Right? So this is where you want your knees above your ankles, bone above bone. All right. Side body long, curve in your neck. So here you're going to go back to your mat. And if you wanted to use your block underneath you, if you're not doing a full bridge, you can do that variation. And I'll show you that in a moment. You're going to start on your back, bend the knees, soles of the feet to the earth. Inhale, side body long, reach the arms up, side body long. Then exhale, bend the elbows down. Good, inhale, get really tall from your armpit to your waistline. And the exhale, shimmy, shimmy the shoulders under. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle the shoulders underneath. Good, keep that and now lift up. Lift the pelvis up, that is. The head stays connected. The head stays connected. Shoulders stay connected. And of course, the feet stay connected. Inhale, surrender to the earth underneath you. And remember your truth. Hug the extremities into the dome and the palate of the mouth into the back of the head. Draw the inner thighs in. And broaden your seat. Lengthen the tailbone toward the knees and the shins. From the palate of the mouth, expand out. Shine through the knees and the shins forward. Most of you don't have to lift your heart any more than that. And then slowly lower down. Nice. All right. So if you do want to use a block underneath you, if you're like, I just want to know what that feels like. I don't want to work that hard. It would just be with, if this were a book, the slack or a buff, this would be the index side of the book. And you can sh shimmy it underneath you and just kind of hang out still in the in the shape of the pose, but without a lot of muscular energy or strength involved. So last one, last one, bridge pose, or wait, yeah. Yeah, last one today, with or without the black. Set it up and take it up. You know all, all the many tips and ways, right? Feet are pretty much underneath the knees. Knees are above the, the ankles. Side body long. Solar plexus is abundant with breath. There's a beautiful curve in your neck. The front of the throat is soft. And then slowly lower down. Once you lower down, you can stay right there. You can stay right there from the cactus arms. 
Let the elbows in line with the shoulders of the back of the hands to your mat. And then take a moment to windshield wiper your legs. I'm just gonna roll, roll to your. And now here she comes. Hi, pretty, hi, pretty baby. Roll to your. Um, actually, let's do a supine twist real quick. Pull your right knee in, left leg goes long. Right arm comes out to the side, and twist it out with your right knee over to the left. If that doesn't feel good. You can always have. Knee on top of knee or leg on top of leg. Take a deep breath in. And another one like that. Deep breath in. And then let it go. Slowly return to your back and your right leg long. Hug the left knee in. Right leg goes long, left arm out to the side. You can always do leg on top of leg or knee on top of leg. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Another one like that, deep breath in. And let it go. Good. And slowly return to your back. Pull your, I know she thinks I'm talking to her. Pull your knees in, give yourself a nice hug. You're going to roll to your right side into a fetal position and then slowly come up. I know, sweetie. I know. All right. I'm going to take um, a wide angle seat. You can explore this today on your feet. Bring your legs out. Shine your toes up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And think about sneaker foot with the legs. Right? And even here, there's four corners of your feet. And even here, there's like energy slacking on your legs. Even though you're supported by the earth, there's energy slackings on your legs coming all the way up. A lot of the yoga pants feel like that. So supportive, right? It's so good. It's like, oh, I already feel like I'm doing my yoga. Oh, yeah. Just put my pants on. Has to take a moment to, to breathe here and just stay and just notice. And there's options here. You could stay like this the whole time. You might bring the right hand in the inside of the right foot or leg and then reach the left arm up and overhead. Do like so play fetch. It's like, like yoga in a in a movie here. You get entertainment from the cat. My dog does not play fetch. My cat does. They're made for each other. And come up. And you can stay here the whole time, right? I'll we'll add that pull to the other side. The left, the left hand comes in. I might have to go help her. My shirt just fell on top of her. I'll just be right back. She, she looks good. But you'll keep stretching. Oh, she looks like my uh, You okay? Okay. <laughs> I wish the video was going that way because. And come out up, and you can of course stay right here, or we will hold directly out in front. And just a few breaths here. We still hug those legs, right? As we get more expressive and more expansive, all the way up into the pelvis, even the torso, even the head, and then from the pelvis we extend out. We brighten. We get bigger. We take up more space. We say, "I am here. I am here to shine bright and be myself." in all the many ways that I can, all the many amazing ways. Just a few more breaths here in this pose and this shape. 
even if it's seated, right? even if it's seated on top of many blankets, on a stack of blankets, even if it's with blankets under your knees. Then I'll slowly come up. You can use the hands behind the knees to bring the legs towards you. We get another chance to reach the way through those legs again. We'll flush it out. All right. I'm gonna extend, extend the legs out in front of you. In the last pose, you might wanna broaden or roll the inner thighs in back and apart just like you began. Bring your sit bones out. Last forward pull. This is where you might use a strap, but we're not we're not gonna be here forever. It's more to cool down. So that was, the bridge pose was very warming. We just wanna cool down, get you chilled out. Portion also our knee. You know, fold forward. You might hold on to the legs, the feet, wherever, wherever you can here. Full breath in. However you are is where you're meant to be full breath out. Slowly come up and you will find your way to either your heart bench if you want to end in heart bench or to reclining on your back for Shavasana or if you prefer to end in a seated meditation. That's too many options probably but you will get comfortable. The legs can be extended out the corner from your mat. You can set up the heart bench, which you began in. Or you can say no thank you to any of those things, right? I get really comfy. And just as much as you continue to hug in to yourself and you used your muscles today, <clears throat> we're going to do the opposite now. And you can imagine your body being like a glass of water, right? And you're pouring all the water out and your, your body is that water that goes all over. Just as hard as you work today on your mat. Allow yourself to rest that hard in a good, faithful, and happy way. <clears throat> like hard is like a bad, it's like a bad word, but it's just a word. It's not good or bad. Okay. Shantaya, Nishpam Panchaya, 
Take a moment here to deepen your breath. To wiggle your fingers and your toes. To deepen your breath even more. Bend your knees once more. Bring your soles of the feet to the earth. You have the blocks at your back. You can either just come right up or go to a fetal position. And slowly make your way up to a comfortable seat. Bring the hands before the heart. Bow to the same light within and all around. Bow as we say namaste. Namaste. Namaste, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, <laughs> see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having fun with me.